All right, here's a uh, little sneak peek into the Skunk Works, in case you guys are interested. I picked up a uh, project. It's a Piper PA-18 Super Cub. Um, it had a accident where on landing, um, the brakes were a little bit uh, over-applied, and it flipped up over on its back upside down. So let's see if I can show you. What I had to do so far, first I had to strip the whole plane down, strip all the skin off and all the cowlings and everything. Um, I had to replace um, all the uh, tubing that holds the top of the, the cockpit up because it was crushed down seven inches. So I had to replace the four um, main tubes in the front, support tubes. Um, this, this bar... Um, from here all the way back to the next joint had to be replaced. I had to replace this uh, window sill. I had to uh, cut the throttles off and, and uh, reattach them and synchronize them um, because it's a dual control airplane. So it's got two throttles. Um, so they had to be precisely located and welded to the new tube. And let's see, I had to replace up on top. We had some bent tubes, which I wasn't, uh, I wasn't satisfied with just straightening them, so I replaced this one. It was a little bit too bent. I replaced this one in the, going across the back. It was a little bit bent, and I was thinking about straightening it, and then I accidentally gouged it with my grinder a little bit, so I just bit the bullet and uh, replaced it. Um, and then the far vertical upright over there I replaced. That's a very common tube that rusts out on Super Cubs, and this one was rusted out. Um, it's very normal, so it's good to have it replaced. It was bent anyway, but I've looked the airframe over really well, and I don't have corrosion anywhere. It's in really good shape, except for that one spot. Anyway, um, I got uh, all the pieces and parts hanging up around the place, waiting to get reinstalled. Um, here's our uh, light calming O320, hanging on the hoist, waiting to get an inspection for a prop strike because it, it had one. You can see by the propeller over here, it's not quite as straight as it was coming out of the factory, and it's too bent to be rebuilt, so I have to be, have to replace that. But anyway, that's a uh, update from the Skunk Works. Have a great one.